Right, amongst the um, piles of bits and pieces I've got kicking about, I've got um, four live centres. Now I've got this live centre already, which um, you may or may not see me use, I can't remember actually. Um, Merry brand, wherever they are, I'm not sure. Um, it's probably made in China, who knows. But it's quite a nice tool. Uh, revolves easy enough, but even on this, it feels like a little bit of um, a slight notch, but it, when you're turning it, it's smooth enough. It might just be the grease in the bearings, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know whether that's access to the bearings or not. Anyway, so that's the one that I use as it is. But I've got these, and I haven't got any larger than this tip. So although this one's not that much larger, but... Anyway, so I've got these. Now, small one revolves quite nicely. But I don't know whether you can see it or not. We'll see if we can. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got a bit of sideways movement in that tip. So, as a live centre, that really wouldn't be that reliable with that movement in there. So, there's that one. This one revolves quite nice and free. You can feel it a little bit gritty but it's not not notchy if you know what I mean so there's that one uh, there's this one here which is really stiff and it's not notchy it's just feels stiff and gaunchy it's just horrible and there's this one here which the whole outer revolves but no seal on the inside and you can just see how dirty it is so whether this one would clean up how easy any of these are to strip to replace the bearings I'm not entirely sure the first one I'm going to try and deal with is this one I think now I've already undone that um, with a screwdriver it's just a locking tab for this top piece the next thing will be to see if I can just tap this loose now I don't know how easy that's going to be, whether I can do it by hand or whether I'm going to put it in the vise. I think I might put it in the vise. Right, well, first of all, I've got a pin that will just fit in there. I'll try and just tap it. No, that doesn't look like that's going to move. No. Don't particularly like doing this, but... Um, I've not got a pin tool that's going to fit in there. That looks like it's going. Yep, that is going, that's good. Now the problem is the screws that are screw into the side here that pinches these things up. Problem is with a lot of these, they damage the threads, which is not ideal. I wonder if I can get a bit of grips on that maybe. Oh, I've got a pair of grips. These are a little bit overkill for this, but um, all my tools... Oh, that's lovely and easy, actually. That's not tight at all. Right, before I get that too far undone... Let's get that cleaned up. Right, go by hand? No. Should go by hand, surely. Ah, there we are. Ah, oh, right, okay, that's undone. Right, okay, so there's the bearing. 
Right, let's see what we can do about this then. Well, I'm surprised at that. I, I didn't think that would happen. I was just wiggling this and it literally pushed out the outer collar. So maybe there's a tapered bearing there. Um, doesn't seem to want to pull out though. So I don't know whether that's something to do with this end. We'll see. I, I don't know whether to tap that or not. Let's just... It's wrong right out anyway. Yeah, so it's a tapered bearing. And the surface is a little bit grey, but it's not it's not scuffed up or anything at all. I don't know if this will work for the camera or not. No idea. Interesting idea though. <laughs> anyway, but you can see that difference in colour there, so that's that's crap basically that's got into the bearing, but for the most part it looks all right. There's a few lines in there. I think that's where it's been sat for X amount of years. But we'll see. It's um, NSK bearing, so it's quality bearing. It's not shite. But it's got numbers there, so it's rebuildable. Right. So the next thing is to see if I can get this out of here. I might just turn it upside down and just tap on that end. I don't... Um, I don't want to go mad with it though, really. I've got no idea about its bearing in the end. It's very, very small. Let's um, put this in there. Right, okay, so we have, oh, if I can pick it up, so slippery, right, taper roller bearing, fuss bearing, and then we've got the needle roller right at the back. Get some cleaner going and try and clean this up first of all, and see what happens. Right, I don't know how well you can see down in there, but you can see the bearing in the bottom and the bearing on top. Seems to revolve quite nicely. Um, no nasty nicks or bangs or grips or anything. And I gave the tuber a good clean out inside as well. Um, there was a bit of bad, gritty, horrible stuff down in there. I wouldn't say it was grit, but you know, it wasn't just plain grease. There was a little bit of dirt in there. So what I've decided to do is rebuild it as it is and just to see how it feels once I've done it. Um, if it feels rubbish then um, I'll take it apart again and see if I can get new bearings. So that's that case there. Um, what I'm going to lubricate it with is this. Now some people may object to this and um, they might have a valid reason for it but I've used this stuff for anything that's under pressure applications. It's designed for constant velocity joints, but it's designed to work under high pressure, which of course these bearings here are, they're under quite a lot of load. And um, incidentally, I'll um, bring you a close up. A slight grain on the, um, on the bearings themselves, but fitting in the taper, it all seems nice. It's a little bit noisy, but then it is bone dry. So I figured I'll go again. Plop a bit of grease in there. And I don't know whether that'll um, get a shuffle down there or not. No real easy way of getting it into that bearing other than this end. Maybe that's the way to do it. Just pack it in this end. But either either, so first thing pressure washer. Now the reason I put a bit of grease in here is basically just to stick it in there. Let's move that a bit better.
Now this tends to be quite a, a fluidy grease, it's not um, really stiff. Um, one other thing you could also use if you haven't, if you wanted to use something like this, um, Lamb Rover do what they call this, like um, for their CV hubs on the front axles, they uh, use um, a, what they call is a one shot. Basically, it's a little sachet of grease, very, very similar to this, but it tends to be a little bit more liquidy as well. Right, so what I'm going to do, a bit of grease around here. Let's get some grease on this bearing. Yeah, there we go. Right. Now, somehow I've got to bang that in. It's a bit of hardwood. It's a bit softer. So I might try and just tip that up like that. It's gone in there, hasn't gone all the way yet. But um, when I do this cap up, that should pull it in anyway. Right, I'm pretty, pretty confident I've got some grease in there now. That's it, that's nice and square, I think. That's it, yeah, lovely. That's tapping in. A little bit of grease around there. That's it, it's doing up. And that in itself, I think actually done up rather nicely nicely and I think it's pushed it all together. There's no no play in it already. And don't go beating the crap out of bearings, especially like this. It's not ideal. And this really wanted to be pushed in at the top here, and I think I might just tap that round the bottom. Because I think that might be pushing that out. Yeah, I think it was. Just tapping on the inner race. Screw that in. Got a fine old thread this, and I think there might be just a little bit of damage. It's just screw up, but um, got to get it just about right. There we are. Now I expect that will stop in a second. There we are. That's pushing up against the bearing, so if I get a pair of grips and do that up, I want to do is um. I'll tap this up a little bit with a, the punch and just free it off. I don't want to go damaging the bearing, but I just want to make sure everything's nice and seated. 
you don't see these very often, these type of mild grips. They don't show up very often, but these are designed for gripping round items. As round as this one may be, having had the crap beaten out of it. It. So that's screwing that bearing, that bottom bearing in, and that's it. Goes solid. That's turning nicely. That's better. That's just <coughs> seated that nicely. That's spinning lovely. Right, so let's um, tap this up. I wonder if I can probably do it like this actually. So if I do it up tight, yeah, see that's, that bearing's now quite tight. So just very gently just tap it back. Until it feels like it's free. Yeah, that's about right. Let's see if I've got any play in it. Can't feel any play in it, can't feel any lift in it. As that turns quite nicely. I'm pretty sure it's seated, I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on it. And I'm going to do that up there with a pinch screw. Right, I think That's that. So what I'm going to do is get this, um, <coughs> I'll probably just chuck this up like that and I'll just run down that and just take off those high edges there I think. It's not um, badly galled or anything like that but you can see it's just been kicking about a bit. So one down. <coughs> 